La Val dell'Orco è stato il luogo in cui è nato un certo genere d'arrampicata. Nel corso degli anni si è persa un po' la sua tradizione. Adriano Trombetta e Michele Amadio hanno dato molto impulso a riscoprire questi luoghi. E dopo la morte di Adriano ho voluto un po' riprendere in mano il discorso che lui aveva lasciato in sospeso rilanciando l'arrampicata tradizionale, eh, però in chiave forse un po' più moderna. Quindi ho immaginato delle falesie in cui eh, cominciare ad avvicinarsi a questo genere di arrampicata con le protezioni veloci. Il fatto di riscoprire un passato e riproporlo in chiave moderna è un modo per la sportiva di cercare nuove direzioni, nuove motivazioni a un mondo che è in continua evoluzione. Ed è questo il motivo per cui siamo qui oggi. So the athletes climbing meeting here in Orco uh, is like a mixture between all kind of uh, different disciplines and like from thread climbing, big wall climbing, uh, sport climbers and uh, it's where, where all kind of climbers unite. I like the fact that we're, we're all in different worlds and different sub-disciplines of climbing. I learn so much from every other athlete. I think I can keep on learning like this, it's really cool. On the second day, we got a clinic from SIBA. It was very cool to actually get to climb and learn from like a master in track climbing. I really enjoyed trying out different kinds of jamming, like the finger jams and then the hand jams, on the finger locks. I mean, it's a whole new world opening up and I'm very, very excited to, to do a lot more of that in the future. I was really surprised, like they were so curious and eager to learn and I could see really the eagerness in their eyes to, to learn and to get to know something new about climbing. It, this for me is uh, super valuable. It's been my first time really track climbing, placing some gear. So that was a new experience and of course at the beginning I was pretty scared. But luckily we've got all the pros here of track climbing and Neil, he showed us the first day a little bit how to place the gear. So this was all new to me. It was so much fun. It was nice to witness the motivation of, let's say, the younger climbers for trying something new. It kind of reminded me to when I stopped competing and then I took this path of track climbing and uh, I'm sure in the future they will. I invest more energy in these uh, different kinds of aspects of climbing too. I like to climb with uh, all the different people because each climber has a, a personal style and personal abilities, no? Always you are learning a lot from the other climbers. No? I like uh, to be climbing with uh, more strong climbers than, than me. No? Yeah. I love to share the passion no? of climbing. <laughs> you need to always to, to push the, the guys, no? like, come on. It's uh, always it's, uh, one try more.
Your climbing experience is about overcoming a challenge with what's inside of you. That's kind of at the core of trad climbing because it adds more elements to the experience. And that's sort of why I fell in love with trad climbing. And I think it was such a cool idea to have an event based around trad climbing and have everybody learn something new and teach each other new things. Feeling was sort of that, you know, we were a family and, and it felt really awesome to feel like I was a part of that. I think the LASPO family uh, is a real family because with those meetings you get to know each other better, not only sharing climbing together, it's also having a good time together, partying together and uh, get to know each other in a, in, a different, in a different way and sharing the same vibes and this makes it so special I think.